Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great resources we have in America is the richness and diversity of the cultures, religions, and national origins of our citizens. That is why it is so fitting today to have with us Archbishop Jacobus, the primate of the Greek Orthodox Church of North and South America. Archbishop Jacobus holds dozens of honorary degrees from institutions spread all across our country. He serves on a number of boards of educational institutions and is a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. His contributions to religious freedom and educational opportunities throughout the world are widely known. He was the first Greek Orthodox Archbishop to visit the Pope in 350 years. He was in the forefront of the American Civil Rights Movement and marched with Dr. Martin Luther King in Selma, Alabama in 1965. It's a great honor for us, for all of us, to have the benefit of his wisdom, his words, and his company, fellow delegates and honored guests, His Eminence Archbishop Jacobus. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. In deep humility, we lift up our souls and hearts to you, O merciful and loving Father, and thank you for inspiring the founding fathers of our nation to sign a covenant with you, committing our people to democracy, liberty, and justice for all. We thank you for this convention, one of our most cherished institutions, where delegates of the Republican Party exercised for one more time in the long history of our constitutional democracy the privilege to select and nominate individuals capable of carrying and redefining our national legacy. And now, as we prepare ourselves for the November election, give us the wisdom and good judgment to make the best possible use of our privilege to vote and thus participate in charting the course for the future. For the eyes of the world are turned to us in anticipation of an illumined leadership which will enhance the image of democracy that we were able so far to maintain and project as the sole hope of the peoples and nations oppressed. In these critical times of uncertainty and fear that trouble our hearts and blur our vision, we implore, we implore you, O Savior and Redeemer of the world, to enable us to meet the challenges and fail not you nor those who have placed their trust in us. Give us that moral and spiritual strength we need in these agonizing times so that we may free our young people from the nightmare of abuse, drugs, AIDS, and nuclear war. For this is the ultimate anticipation of all, that we in these United States initiate such energies that we may bring solace and comfort to millions and billions of people thirsting for love human dignity, freedom, justice, and peace. This is our last petition, O Lord, which we offer to you, hoping that you will respond lovingly to it, because it is the petition of all of us. To you we ascribe glory and adoration and honor forever and ever. Amen.